Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mix and match expressions using our expression base mesh. By now, you should have your model either retopologized or sculpted using our base mesh, and with that, you should have all of the expressions uh, available here on the layers. So, what I want to show you is how we would go around, go about, sorry, um, mixing expressions together to create a unique uh, sort of face. I've actually got the eyes and teeth and everything enabled here, so I'll just turn them off. And um, as you can see, I've also got a texture on here, um, which I'll show you how you can use our uh, displacement and texture maps in another video, which will be on this page. So let's find an expression. So I'm going to use this one. Um, I'm just using pure ref here because it's quite handy to have it always on over the top. So we're just going to try and sort of create this kind of stupid face here. So we've kind of got a bit of a cheek puff, we've got a sort of mouth to the left here, we've got one eyebrow up and one eyebrow down, um, and we've got the eyes sort of looking over to the left, kind of a bit squinty looking. <clears throat> so let's start with the eyebrows. So we want to do one eyebrow up, so we've got our eyes wide, so let's just sort of put them both up. And now what we can do is actually t move this eyebrow down by making a new layer, and we can call it mod. Just name that mod layer. And we'll just disable that for a second. And what we need to do before we do anything is store morph target from the neutral. So we'll just store morph target here and get our brow up and hit record on the mod layer. And now we can morph back to our neutral. So we can just Sorry, didn't press record. We can just morph that eye back down to the way it was using that layer. And then we can sort of turn this one down a little bit if we want. If it's too much and just go back to our mod layer. Just fix that eye back to the neutral. And then we want to move this eyebrow down. So we will use the brows down. And again, Store morph target, browse down, and then enable your mod layer and your morph brush, and just morph that back to the way it was. And now you've got one eye up and one eye down. You've got a little sort of wrinkle in the middle, it's maybe a bit strong there. Just morph that away a little bit. Um, and now we've got a sort of a kind of a cheek puff. So again, store a morph target of his face, and we'll find cheek puff, cheek puff, there we go, and just enable the mod layer, she's only really puffing it on one side, so we'll just sort of turn our intensity down even further to like one, and use a big brush so we can get a nice even kind of morph away from that. And then she's got a bit of a, she's pulling her mouth over to the her right here a little bit. So again, store morph target and go to the cheek pulls. See cheek pull left, cheek pull right. Or maybe, maybe a bit of a smile actually, we could use a smile, smile mouth closed because it's going to give her more of this sort of dimple. That's almost what that shape is. And smile closed. That's more like it. There we go. And then just enable our mod layer and use the morph target and morph away the smile from that side of the face. Maybe just turn the intensity up a little bit just to get rid of it. There we go. So that's something sort of close to. To what we've got there. I mean, we can also now go in on our mod layer and we can just do a few little tweaks just using the um, the kind of ZBrush tools, you know, just to sort of fix things. I mean, it looks like I might set a bit too far there, but I can always move it in a bit. I'm going to tweak this a little bit here. And then I guess if you want to do her eyes, you know, it's just a case of getting those on. 
Oops, select the eyes. And then we just sort of rotate them. Okay, so that's how easy it is to sort of quickly, you know, match an expression. And there's so many different expressions in here that you can kind of create almost any face. Um, I should reiterate that this isn't intended for rigging. This is more of a sort of quick and easy way to create expression and you know give your character a, a bit of character, basically. Um, so I mean, you could probably create a rig out of this, but that's not really what I'm intending. It's for um, it's just a very, very quick way to sort of do things in, in ZBrush. So that's for that tutorial. So if you've got any questions, um, feel free to like ask me on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or wherever you've seen this video.